And then from Low Town, we will. Always calling and getting rid of idiots. Especially thugs who target the streets just because it's dark. You know what? I want more banter. Like, there's. I, I, there is good writing, but I'd like more interaction between people. I don't want to go that way yet, do I? Do I? No. We're just going up to that would just be going up to that's oh that's the alienage. Oh, so yeah, we don't we're not actually that far from the alienage. I don't know where we're going. Aha! Been looking for you, mate. I assume you're Samson. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. <laughs> retired. Sounds better than a burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dam. <laughs> they don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. Ah, uh, yeah, because they're, they're like addicted. They, they basically make them addicted to lyrium. If my... Dragon Age lore is, is uh, up to scratch. Up to snuff, maybe. Um, what do you mean? The dust. Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magicers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, just about kills you. Meryl were just magicers. You'd think he'd realise. So you, but you help mages. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. The demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Not really. I'm with you on this. Uh, did Fainre did Fainreal come to you? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though. Not a silver on him. I helped one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. Charity to a point, I see. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week. Girl, I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumours he took the both of them captive instead. Where is he now? Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumour has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Ah, yes. Elf, slave, not good. Is this the Keys down here? It's... I don't know, it doesn't say what the quest is. Godman Donick. Oh, we've got to... Oh, we're here. We should... No, this is the wrong way. Ah! Let's head to the dockside. Get Fane real. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard to this mess. Uh, it looks like you may have already. Oh, dear. Thank you for walking into my fireball. You're very nice. Ah! Oh my goodness, she's gone invisible. Oh, oh dear. Oh, there she is. You're alone. I think we can take you. Oh dear. No, there's people behind us. Ah! I'm bad at this. And by this I mean everything. I'm bad at games. Then again, you guys already knew this. <laughs> no, we're doing all right, though. My, my, yeah, my injury's gone, so I think if uh, going home kind of deals with that, I would suspect. Donic, donic, donic. Wow, he must be badly injured. He doesn't have a chest. All covered in blood. Guardsman. I mean, I, I was on patrol and they came out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this 
route was supposed to be quiet. What's in the bag? The seal of the Viscount, office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. <sighs> uh, a politician scheme. It may embarrass the guards. Um. Hmm. That's something Aveline would care about. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. Do you do you want to? Tiger's eye fragment. Ban's back house door. Let's compare equipment then. Oh, uh, this always this confuses me. Stop it. They're not weapons. Shields are not weapons. Hmm. Okay, that is better. Right. Gloves with the spiral eye, which requires more magic. That's worse than what I've currently got. You can't have the apostates rope anyway, because it's only because it's restricted to me. And they're worse. I'm assuming this means they're worse than what I've currently got. I don't know. I wonder if we've got any armor to cover him up with. Yeah, again, popping out of the. I'm I'm happy to kind of steal this stuff because this is um the the thief stuff. I would say. Again, sewers. Why can't we go into the sewers and deal with the thieves and the thugs and various other people? Right. Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, we have, what was it, Anzo? Or Anso. Probably Anso, because it's an S, not a Z. Anso, the contact. Hello. Are you Anso? Ah, sweet mother of Mark. You can't just run up on someone like that. I can, and I did. That's me. I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartran used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. What kind of property? Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. You know how these Templars can be. <laughs> it's Lyrium. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. Shh. By the Paragons, not so loudly. My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Uh, so I can accept this quest or I can refuse it. Now, we need money, but we would be helping Templars. Um, they're not... The Templars aren't necessarily bad people, he says. Now, this better be worth it. Make it worth my time, and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or, I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them... And I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Aveline rivalry, because I'm doing and I'm doing bad things, and Varric's like, yeah, you're doing bad things. That's that's my guess. Oh more codices. Um oh, that's not how I get to codices. Oh, it is how I get to codices. I think we've read we'll have read all of these. Arcane horror. Yes. 
corpses. Um, yes, fairly sure. I think we have read most of these. Ooh, the spiral eye. Uh, Kirkwall has been a tinderbox since becoming the centre of Templar power in Eastern Thedas. Of the hundreds of mages that live in the galleries, it is perhaps telling that the most well-known are its apostates. Um, Keredweth was one such f infamous apostate. She lived during the latter half of the Storm Age and was known for hunting priests and Templars that abused their charges excessively. Keredweth was also known as the Watcher and the Spiral Eye, so named for the spiroglyph she marked near her victims. Templar records show that Keredweth was captured and made tranquil in 790 Storm. Many refuse to believe this, so her legend lives on. What would be good or or helpful um, is if you if someone marked as this is from Dragon Age Origins. This is I don't think any of this is. Well, no, uh, the Kakadi Wilds would be, but it'd be useful. It's like this is. Oh, I haven't read the Kirkwall Low Term one. I should go and fix that. This is for. Um, this is from Dragon Age Origins. Um, just because then I can... If I'm reading it, I know... Oh, I've already read this one. It doesn't matter. Right. The Anderfels. The Anderfels are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate... I've already read this one. Yes, I have already read that one. Um, probably... Yes. Oh, that's... For, oh, of course, because that's frustrating. Because if you click on it, it pops up. Ugh. At uh, the height of the Tevinta Imperium slave trade, Kirkwall's elite prospered beyond dreams of avarice. High Town was built for the wealthiest slavers, its glitzy mansions rising atop a great wall of rock that borders on one side the Waking Sea. Low Town cowered on its other side until Kirkwall's slaves rose to plunder and destroy High Town's riches. Today, High Town's prominent buildings are the Keep, home to the ruling Viscount, and the Chantry, home to the Grand Cleric and the city's religious centre. Both are converted estates that once housed wealthy magisters, rebuilt and converted after the uprising. Kirkwall is guarded by mountains to its north, the tallest of which is Sunder Mount. The mountain has a fearsome reputation. Legend says it was the site of the final battle between the Devinter Imperium of old and the ancient imp empire of elves that perished with Arlathan. Uh, both sides unleashed horrors into the waking world, and the fade creatures prowl the heights to this very day unaware that the war for which they were summoned is long since over. There is a tale in the Free Marches that Blessed Andraste, upon reaching Kirkwall with her armies, sojourned up the slopes of Sundermount alone. She stayed there three days. When she returned, she wept as if her heart was broken. I stayed two months in Kirkwall, and despite my best efforts, I never found a guide willing to take me up the mountain. Okay. That's a lot of things to read. I probably won't. Hierarchy of the Circle. Uh, yes, I think we've read that one. Deep Mushrooms. Yes, we've read that. Elf Root. We have read that. Silverite. Yes. We've read these ones about Arlathan, parts one and two. I'd prefer it if, like, if it's popped up and flashed and I've read it on there. I don't think it should pop up here as something I've not read. The Tale of Aloran. Um, yes, the City Elves. Yes, I think we've read that. Might have been the last one. The Carter. Um, the Dalish Elves. The Great Wardens. I think we know about them. Um, seven Gods. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that this is um, from Dragon Age Origins, which means that we've had five. Okay, so in that logic, there's only two left. Hmm. Man and the Use of Magic. We have read that. The Coterie. Kirkwall is built on a solid foundation of greed and human suffering, and its underworld is a place where everything is for sale and everyone is fair game. There are many criminal empires within the city, some of which have been around since the Imperium used Kirkwall as a hub in the slave trade. Alliances, spying, manipulation, betrayal, and open warfare is all commonplace in the never-ending struggle for power. The Coterie is a thieves' guild that has been around for almost a century, but until recently was never a major player in the underworld. Some twenty years ago, the strongest of the local criminal empires was an ancient guild known as the Sabrathan, 
but its leader was betrayed from within, and during the turmoil, the coterie made a successful grab for power. Since then, they've sunk their claws into almost every level of Kirkwall, including the City Guard, obviously, the Dwarven Merchants Guild, and some of the most influential cit citizens in the city. It's safe to say that the Coterie gets a slice of every pie, and very little goes on in Kirkwall that escapes their notice. Characters? Oh, Meryl! The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift, but like so many things, it was lost. It is a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. As each generation passes, magic becomes more rare among the Dalish. As the gift dies out, talented children are moved between clans so that every keeper has a, su has a successor, and no clan is in danger of being left without guidance. Meryl was born to the Alarian clan, which wandered the hills of Navarra. She was the third child of the clan with the ancient gift born to her. When the next Alathven gathering of the clans occurred, she was given to the Sabre clan to be the first to keep a ma Marathari. Meryl was just four years old. She spent most of her life in Ferelden and the Kakari wilds until her clan was driven north by the blight. So that would have so because uh, it was the Brazilian forest around the Brazilian forest where we had the Daily Shelf origin. So um, at least according to Witch Hunt, I don't think it's actually defined in the origins to where it was. Aveline Valen, if it's your, if it's family, you protect. Doesn't matter who it is, blood or not. Aveline was born in Orlais, but she never knew the country. Her father, Benoit du Lac, was a chevalier who lost his patron to the game of intrigue. He fled to Ferelden while Aveline was an infant, and though his holdings were meagre, he was determined she would have the life he had lost. She would become a knight, no matter the cost. He eventually sold everything to sponsor Aveline into King Caelan's service. Knightly skills seemed bred into Aveline's bones, but she had her doubts, starting with her namesake, Sir Aveline. The first female knight of Orlais was orphaned, mocked for her looks, and murdered when she dared stand with men in tournament. Her glory lies in tragedy, but the living Aveline doesn't revere sacrifice. A principal death is still a death. Her father was proud of her, but she would never be the knight he wished for. Aveline married Wesley Valen while serving in the Ferelden army. They were kindred spirits and determined guardians. His death during the blight scarred her, not just his loss, but that she failed to protect him. Aveline has healed in the past year, but she has yet to forgive herself. Accordingly, she is fiercely protective of the, spa of the hawks, and Sparrowhawk in particular. They share a bond in loss, a connection she cherishes, but will not allow to be repeated. Art of War. So that's just how to play the game. Right. I'm doing a thing. What am I doing? Uh, I could go and do that. Deal with them now. Or I'm going to find Fainreal. Yes, let's gather on and head to the docks. And we're still doing it, because we're doing it the same nights, so we're not going to move today. And obviously we've got loads of other random things. Oh, should be safe. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying they should be safe, as in they are safe, where they're quite clearly not. <laughs> 